so we are just eight days away until we get our hands on this Black Panther DLC. If you are hyped up, go ahead and drop a like on this video right now because this week in general is going to be a very big week and yes, that is right, what you are seeing in the background is something we've been waiting to see for a long time, Wakanda Forever. This is a, the, literally, it's just the biggest thing that has every single fan right now just going completely crazy and to say they're really hyped up is just an understatement. This has just really kicked off this week with a solid start because we know this week is going to be a very big week for them dropping information on this DLC because like I said, 8 days until the DLC but with also that taken into consideration, it's Monday where we'll be getting a look at the combat in the game in the deep dive videos. Now, this is just insane because first of all, I mean this is one thing we're talking about in this video We're also going to be talking about how many players right now are actually playing this game Since the game became a free to play now those numbers have leveled out and it's really really interesting to see because Is the game making a comeback? Is it not? Well, this is going to be the answer now I want to start off with I mean I'm probably just going to keep looping that video on in the background because I don't know at what stage do you begin to get bored off that, but it's not just the emote itself. It's the fact that we got a teaser off, of course, the Wakanda area in general. And you guys know I'm not a fan of maps when it's usually at night. Like, I like seeing maps in daytime, but this just looks incredible. And again, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know exactly how picky I am when it comes down to that stuff. But they still made this scene, which is literally five seconds just really pop off and I think it's incredible because again there is no audio may I add there's absolutely no audio with the stuff that they have been sharing it's just been these no audio clips and it has so many people really really amped up now if you missed my video earlier today I done the Avengers game show which is basically talking about the I guess you could say a very optimistic roadmap, right? 2.0, the roadmap 2.0. So if you didn't check out that video, definitely check it out after this one. But what is going on with the game now in terms of where we stand with a player base? Because we know over the last couple of weeks, right? Right from the whole element of, hey, you know, we're going to make this game a free to play game. Right down to, hey, you want to get double XP or free new, you know, exotic gears in a week, whatever it may be. Like, all of that stuff really got people excited. Now, of course, we don't know what the console numbers are. Now, naturally, they're just going to be significantly higher. Now, what's really interesting is Paul Tassi, who, of course, is a writer for Forbes, and he's been covering this game for a very long time, I mean, even before launch as well, going through all the rocky scenarios with us all as a community. And what's really interesting is he's been watching the numbers. Now, what he does say, and this is a really interesting element, before the game on an average like weekday, before it was a free to play game and a free to play weekend especially, it was averaging around 500 to 700 players and on a weekend, typically like 700 to 800s. Now, on weekdays this past week after the free-to-play period ended, apparently it's averaging around 18 to 900 players at peak. And on weekends, like the one that just ended, it's around 2,000 to sort of 2,150 people playing the game. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, those numbers don't actually mean anything, whatever, whatever. Now, this, you're right. It technically doesn't because it's really just laser focused on one platform right it's laser focused on pc why do people really need to take only those metrics into account and not the whole element of playstation and xbox etc well in short it's because we just don't have access to those stats so this just gives us a better idea because naturally there would be a lower player base anyway on that platform so and i mean that's just down to so many restrictions in general right so hey can your pc run marvel's avengers whatever it may be so like that number in general it just gives you like a rough idea. Now, again, the numbers ain't insane, but to give you an idea, it's now averaging, in fact, outperforming Outriders, which is another loot-based game, which debuted a lot larger on Steam. I think it had like 125,000 players at launch, and that was the peak number for that game. Whereas if you compare it to like Avengers, at peak, again, around the launch, it was around 28,000, maybe 30,000, but that number is significantly low compared to Outriders. 
Now again, literally that game was out just a few months ago, right? So with Avengers, we're approaching the one year anniversary, so of course seeing this small like two time gain is pretty much I guess a clear indicator that okay the core fundamentals are in place, this could be the comeback. Now what's really cool is Paul Tassi actually gave his sort of speculation as to why he thinks you know the surge has happened besides the whole fact that it was a free to play game and it all makes sense right because first of all people just sticking with the game after it was a free to play and picking it up for an incredible discount just want to keep it because hey look it's the Black Panther DLC that's right around the corner why would you not want to get this game at a ridiculous cheaply priced game. That didn't make sense, but the point still stands. You then have players that have been playing it for a long time who just simply wanted to come back for the 4X XP weekend, right? And then, because there was so much stuff in the game since when they last played, right? It's like a scenario where it's like, hey, I'm going to stick around and just play the game a lot more because there's just a whole, much, a whole bunch sorry, uh, going on compared to when I last played. And imagine like you're someone who has not picked up this game since like even January, February time, and now you've just picked up the game. There is a significant difference in terms of like the amount of stuff there is now to do. Yes, it's not at its peak, yes there is tons of room for improvement, but still, if you haven't played it in that long, picking up the game would actually be fun for you right now. Then, of course, it's just the fact of the new event in general where, uh, it, well, it was a reset this week, right? So you got a 2 times XP and the 3 times chances to get the uh, loot exotic gear in missions instead of just the usual once per account sort of scenario, so... Again, it's another thing, right? It's like building up my characters on the basis that the Black Panther DLC is just right around the corner. Now is a great time to go ahead and play the game. Now, the reason why I have wanted to just speak about these stats specifically is because I know all of us, including myself, are like, okay, this Black Panther DLC is a make it or break it. Is it going to make the game? Is it going to destroy it? It's almost like their only chance because I guess like from a very generic standpoint, it's like, okay, well, who's going to really be too bothered about all the other DLC characters that they could potentially uh, drop? Now, yes, they will be very big characters, but it's the whole element with the Black Panther DLC right now. Like that is something that almost every single person is going to want to play. Like, I don't know anyone who would actually say, oh, I'm not going to go ahead and play the DLC because... I don't like Marvel's Avengers. Even if you don't like Marvel's Avengers, you're still going to want to boot up the game to play this DLC because there's not another game that offers it right now. So it's almost like a no-brainer scenario, right? Now it's a matter of, okay, where do we go after the Black Panther DLC? So I mean, we're up on a really, really good run. The fact that they're doing all these teasers, we're on the final week, we're going to be getting tons of information this week. Fingers crossed, leading up to that deep dive video. And that's where it's just going to hopefully just go absolutely chaos, right, in a good way. Like, this is where we should see that big surge in the amount of people playing the game. And then, hopefully speaking, good of a DLC. That's going to be the fun part, because the second there's something that goes wrong, uh, or south, should we say, with a DLC, I mean, people are going to be the f very quick and, and the first ones to jump onto something very small like that. So... It's like, okay, let's just pray there's not going to be any bugs or glitches, and it's going to be very smooth sailing. But guys, what do you think of this stuff? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Check out earlier's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day, and adios amigos.